Hey y'all. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I got a video on here, and uh, just been quite busy lately, and just I don't know, just haven't had the camera to video or anything. But uh, well, what you're looking at here, <laughs> quite oddly, coming to my Iroquois County Fair, my local Derby Fair, is um, uh, Lawnmore Demolition Derby. Oh. Uh, I think we got a pretty good addition to a more here. You can see I'm already getting it prepared since it is in July, towards the end of the month. And well, went to an auction, bought for a hundred bucks. Not too bad. Just needed some. Just got to do some metal work on the front end here, and that's why I'm also missing the hood. But I uh, came with my stack already. All right, guys. See, I got the cover on there to keep water out. You don't want no water in there. But uh, there was plastic cover, which is actually right there. Um, yeah, I got to replace that all in metal. My hood is out, actually outside. I'm going to go show you that here soon. But yeah, this is actually my new addition. This is a uh, got 14.5 horse engine on it. Uh, it's got some great speed. It runs pretty well. I just need a, I just need to get a different battery for it. Otherwise, it just doesn't want to run at all. But when it runs, it's really loud. I mean, this stag, it, wow, it runs pretty, it, it gives it some power. But, uh, well, I've been doing some work out here outside. And, well, here's also one of my other mowers. I, uh, it's a Dynamark. My main mowing mower right now. But, uh, here we go. Here's my hood. Uh, been trying some paint ideas on I've finally gone what I'm going to do for my whole paint idea, but I just need to get some more paint. Hopefully, I'll be doing that by the time Derby gets around here and going to have some fun. It was an original gray hood on it. I got pictures of it. I may just post some in this video. I'm thinking about it, but uh, I, I did try to put some red on it, but yeah, the red just kind of looked good, but... I don't know, black even looked better, but uh, I'm going to hopefully maybe get some pictures with my new hood on it. Uh, hood, the hole was cut off for the exhaust already, but I don't know, it looked bad. And I'll take you back inside here. Yeah, she's uh, she's got some work and needs on her. I mean, not much. We just got to, I got to put my leg guards on on both sides there, you can see. And then I, I got to put a, uh, I'm going to put an engine protector on. And our rules won't allow it to be on the outside, so I got to put it on the inside. Well, as you can see here, there's plenty enough room I can stick it in the inside. So hopefully that will uh, won't uh, crush my engine when the side panels crush in there because they'll go in pretty easy. And then I got a little adjustments on the gas tank there. Got to strap that down, hold it down, and then got to get a, I got to get a, probably a couple more tires or. I don't know, I just gotta air this one up. This one's a little little low. But I gotta do some engine work on see how she's gonna run. She does seem like she's gonna have a throw rod in it and everything, but I don't know. And then one of my next projects here. <laughs> we have a 425 John Deere. Well, I was mowing with it one day and she started shaking real bad and all of a sudden she just blew up. I shut the PTO off and the drive shaft. That part, this piece right here, that rubber piece I'm touching right now, it basically just broke into three pieces, blowing the bolts out, and it threw it up into the radiator here and put a nice, it didn't put a hole in it, it just bent up some of the plastic slash metal area and caused it to leak all the fluid out. But near that, it kind of came over here and where we had some problems with the governor well we've got the governor fixed we put it back together we put it back on the deer well we just found the problem she did not have power she's a twin cylinder engine but well there was just something wrong because she had no power and she just kept blowing oil and smoke well we couldn't figure out why so we Actually, just figure out we got a friend of ours who actually sold us the our mower here, and uh, well, he came over and we took the pistons out because we figured it was the pistons that went bad in it. 
Well, looking at, I think, this one right here. No, this one actually looks clean. No, this one is the wrong one. If you look right where my thumb is, you could see a piece of metal in there. It looks like one of the rings is still in there. Well, all the rings are out just besides that small piece right there. Well, when somehow when the engine raced so high, these pistons were working so hard, it, mel it technically just welded that piece of metal in. Well, so, and then we came over here, and this is actually the uh, area where the piston goes. Well, down in here, you can't really see with all the light, but on the side here, we kind of tried to smooth it out, see maybe there was something wrong. Well, we had found a small little lump. Well, what's just causing us problems is that lump is just going to, it's allowing a lot of oil and gas and just not letting it run right. Also, now I think we're, uh, I think we're in the works of probably selling it back to the owner. He said he'll take it off our hands because uh, he can get it fixed more than we can. He's got the money at the moment. And uh, I'm about to actually go to work right now for him. Uh, got a couple of cemeteries I need to weed eat and trim. And, uh, well, they are the same thing, but, uh, got, got some mowing to do. And, but, I don't know, just to get some money, uh, to get this thing fixed here. My, uh, my MTD. Uh, gonna be a good derby more. Hopefully, uh, gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm working on this one. My dad may take it and run it, but I plan on taking it. No matter what, because my dad has done demolition derbies for a long time. And I just want to get the taste of being out there on the track and just feeling how it is. Since actually right now with this being the cheapest, <laughs> really the cheapest kind of equipment I can run. And it, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's just going to be like I was running compact demolition derby. And uh, my dad really seems he's going to just try to find himself a more. And, uh, well, we'll, we'll see you, uh, out there on the track on July, roughly, and almost towards the end of July. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.